is an alternative for um, purchasing friends. So I thought I would try one out and I will give it an honest review on Amazon and I'll let you know how I think. I will be um, using this one. If not tonight, then probably tomorrow. So it came with, as you can see, a single placer and then it has a um, the opaque clear ish um, free placer and then it's got I don't know what this is for I don't know if this is just another plastic uh, single blazer focus there we go not sure um and then this one is a seven and it came with the skinny seven placer and then it also came with a cute little blue wax caddy which has got quite a bit of wax in there so yeah i mean it didn't just come with just the pen you get um a couple of different tip options and wax so even if you're not going to use this for wax if you take the wax out you could always um use it as a trash if you don't want to get up and throw away your drills so i got two so um amazon so far been pretty decent um i'll let you know when i'm done with the border collie i bought it's the only one that i'm kind of like eh. it's not as good of a quality as the other ones i bought so i couldn't tell you but this one's different this is um in a clear package and it's folded over instead of being curled up so I'm not sure I'll have to look up the name of the seller for you it's got the silver um, packages it looks like they're just numbered so it has your bare bones toolkit little thing of wax your pink pen your green boat I call this bare bones because this is the very bare essentials you need to time and paint would be the wax pen and the tray to put the drills in. So let's see. I don't have to roll it, so that's kind of nice. Um, and it's going to leave a little bit of a crease, so I'm probably going to have to um, make sure it gets flattened. Um, let's see. We're not like super, but we're we're sticky. It's not like woo holding my finger down. It's got a, like a the glitter. Oh, it's hard to pick up, but it has the glitter. So let me pause and grab my. Okay, I do not have it available, so I need to go get it. Um, I didn't do this last time, so I wanted to um, do this because it's a new company on Amazon I haven't ordered I think from so this is right. 34 by 24 so it's clearly one of those ones where the canvas size is actually the whole canvas and not the print but I bought this one I thought it'd be fun um it's a simple and of course it doesn't have a thumbnail so I can't show you the thumbnail but it's got like a wagon wheel and then there's a birdie over here and flowers and it's leaning up against a post so I thought it'd be a nice um it could be a good starter if you're looking to um this size is always a good size to start with. And if you're looking, you know, you know somebody that would like something like this, you want to give it to them for Mother's Day, or um, if you're, you have teenagers and they're interested in doing it, be a nice one to start out on. Um, I showed you it's sticky and it's pretty clear. Those are C's and D's and nines and stars. Everything looks. And it looks like it's a, it's a good balance. I mean, I got color blocking up here. And then there's confetti down here in the flowers and with the wheels. So it's a nice balance of both. 
probably won't take too long. And then there's DMC down here. So that's your key. And then that's your key over here. And it looks like everything should be pretty easy to read. We've got letters, a few symbols. Oh, it's just... So, I have a pet peeve with these kits. If you're going to use the numbers, if you're going to use numbers on your canvas, I prefer it start from the top and go down. If number one through eight or one through seven or one through nine is going to be the numbers, then I prefer just go down the road. Like this one, like number four on the kit is a seven. And then number 12 is a two. Number 20 is a, see, that to me just irritates the, as a loving mind of mine. And like all the way down there, number 27 is the one. I mean, I just, to me, if you're going to use numbers, to make it easy for somebody who's trying to do it, and they either may be distracted because they've got kids in the background, or they're listening to the TV, or they're listening to music, and um, like me, I go down from the first number down. And to me, logically, the first number would be one. I'm like, oh, I should be looking for ones. I mean, I could be frustrated and looking for ones when really I'm supposed to be looking for a P. So, yeah, that is a pet peeve. I don't really like that. And I'll probably put that after I do this kit and comment it. Um, I'm going to link my unboxing to Amazon because these are all Amazon things. So I can just link it to that. But that's the only thing that's like, I mean, the key is nice. You can read it, but it doesn't make any sense with the numbers. Why not have the numbers go in a row? My logical brain would prefer it that way, but to each their own. But yeah, I thought it was a cute picture. I thought it was a nice little um, cherry springtime project. So, I don't know. We'll see. But let's look at some drills. And this is a regular kit, so it's regular round. There's no, there's not going to be, yeah, any ages. So, and this is the train of drills. So, let's out. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do real quick because I'm not going to tell you the numbers because I'm going to have to look down at the. Thing. If you want to see more, then I um, would be happy if you left me a message. Um, I would be happy to um, take any extra pictures of anything if anybody ever wants that. If you want pictures, if you want me to um, if you follow me on Instagram you can see pictures that I post of things that I'm working on and when I'm done. I always post reviews for diamond paintings that I've bought since I started my YouTube. Um, so that way people can see completions. Like I just posted one a couple, was it last week or the week before? I don't remember now. My brain is shot. It's Monday. So yeah, all right, goes. But anyway, I posted my last finish, which was my Diamond Dots Dolphin. So anything I've been finishing, I've been posting and um, telling you my review. Right now I'm working on my Diamond Art Club Reflections on Country Living and doing that DP for the Chuck Along 3 event with Mindy. And then when that diamond painting's done, which I don't suspect I'm going to get done by the end of the month, it's just going to carry over, which is no big deal. And then I'm going to, once I've got that square one done, I'm going to finish the Border Collie one, which I believe is still available on Amazon. Um, last time I looked, but I've been having little issues with some of the colors, having a lot of trash, a lot of those annoying pieces, and then they get stuck in my drill because I didn't realize that's stuck in the pen and I didn't realize it. Anyway, I digress. Um, so when I do this one, I will obviously leave a review on Amazon. Um, just like I did the review on the Amazon one for the birds and the flowers and the mason jars. So yeah, I mean, it's, 
nice springy colors, greens and yellows and pinks and purples and a couple blues and your typical white. So it's going be a nice spring one. be a nice one to do if you're looking for an easy one to do for like a gift for Mother's Day for your mother or mother-in-law or grandmother. I thought it'd be a nice picture for a gift. So I'm not going to try to screw those back in there. Hang on. So I thought that'd be a nice gift to do. And um, I don't think I have this in my favorite tools. But this little uh, measuring tape is like, I think it's a six pack or a five pack. Because my uh, three-year-old's obsessed with them, so I steal the pink ones out of it <laughs> every time. I've got like three pink ones now. Because he loves measuring things around my house. When I find things apart one of these days, yeah, I'll know who to go looking for all the pieces. Because he'll probably be trying to put it back together. So anyway. So this is a first for me, I think. I haven't really had anything come from Amazon in a box. Usually they come in the, the rolled up kind of. But actually, I do. I like I do have one that's like this that was folded. It's, it was like tri-folded. It's a snowman one that I didn't get to do for Christmas because I just had too many Christmas winter themed ones and I was not doing one more. I do have a snowman one um, that has four little snowmen. I think it's a trifolded. But this is the first. This one will just fold in half. And then I've never actually gotten one in a box from an Amazon company. From an Amazon. So I ordered, this one's I think a 40, it's supposed to be a 40 by 50. So it's a pretty decent box. I mean, it's a nice colorful box. It's a pretty um, durable one. It's got directions. Um, it's just a DIY diamond painting, so it's probably more of a generic. It doesn't actually have the name of the company, but it's a nice sturdy box. So and I don't know if it's because it's a 40 by 50. Uh, I honestly don't think I've ordered anything better than 40 by 30 from Amazon. So, and I like this. Um, I like when these companies do it this way because when they roll it to the outside it is 10 times easier for me to uh, not have to fight with it so I haven't actually really done much talking about my dogs um, I have two dogs right now I have a Australian Shepherd and Mini Aussie who looks like that one and then I have a Mountain Cur, and then we used to have an Aussie Collie mix that has those blue eyes and those freckles on the face. So I thought I would do this one. Um, I saw it and I was like, "Oh, it's so cute." Probably not going to do it anytime soon because I probably will want to do it um, as a surprise for my husband because this looks a lot like his dog, our old dog. So. I probably will have to do it in secret when he's not home. So let's check it out. So we actually have a thumbnail. So let me get that. There we go. Three H three puppies. You know, like a little feel. I thought it was cute. So yeah, that middle dog looks like our old dog, and then the, this one over here looks like my doggy now. He's thirteen. So let's see what we got. So we've got. 22 colors and see now this one has my favorite kind of key it is numeric order in order and then just letters this is the easiest kind of key it makes the kits go so quickly because you're not looking for the in my brain when i look at the container I'm like okay that's a squiggly this one is an arrow that goes this way and if you turn the canvas well this arrow goes that way I really like it when it's a simple canvas and it's just letters and numbers. It makes my life and my brain not work as hard. So, Because this is supposed to be relaxing. That's why I enjoy that. So let's check. Let's see. Okay. Well, they're not hugely prominent, but 
I know, um, let's get a couple of names people call them. Gummy circles or training wheels, guide circles, but yeah. I do have those circles around the letters, which is supposed to help if you're a beginner teach you how to, if you are picky and want the circle, I'm going to crinkle my back here up a little bit, um, the, uh, if you don't place, sorry, I totally lost my train of thought, if you don't place it directly in the circle, especially in a color like this white on the puppies up here, you're going to see the outline of the circle. So I know a lot of people, especially people who've been doing it for a while, who've been diamond painting, I've been, been diamond painting for almost a year. So it doesn't honestly phase me because to be honest with you, I do so many of these cute round 30 by 40 kits and I just do 30 by 40s for either you know, a gift for somebody or a gift, you know, for, you know, something that's going to decorate in my house or decorate, you know, one of my kids' rooms or the playroom. And so a lot of times with some of these kits I get on Amazon and fan sales and stuff, I'm either doing it to just put in my little, you know, there's a bubble, the crinkles out and I get a bubble. Um, that annoys me. All right, so now it's much flatter. Let's go. Oh, yeah, now you can see her. You want to do great. But yeah, I know that a lot of people don't like them. I am on the fence. It depends on how bad they are. If they're not, like, lining up very well, then I can understand why people don't like them. I don't care either way. And I haven't really gotten too many kits with them. So. But yeah, so here's that. Let's look for, oh yeah, measure. Duh! So this is supposed to be, according to this, a 40 by 50. Did we stick our finger in it? And it's sticky. Yay. I have yet to get one that's not sticky. Although I did have a spot in my chalk that I don't know if I put my fuzzy sweatshirt that night I was working on and I put my arm in it, but it lost its fuzz. And the trick worked that I just have, I used baby wipe. And then I sat there in my hand like this, getting it to dry, and then it got a stick back. So, we have, this is 44. And this was in stock. So, this came um, within, like, I think three days. Because I had ordered it. Um, it wasn't on Prime for two days, but it came within, like, three days. This is a 34. So, I got 44 by 34. Right. right, that's what I measure, right? 44. Five. 34. Okay. So it might be a little pixelated. Because, I mean, if you look at this thing. Look at how much unprinted. So this might be a little more pixelated than I... I'm wondering how these eyes are going to come out. So look at how much, look how big that border is. So yeah. So this is definitely not true to size. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, I hate these. I really do. <laughs> if I had to pick a packaging I like the most, and I had to pick a packaging I like the least, we like these. Sorry. I, I like these because they're in a row and you just go clip, cut it, pour it in your container, and go down the row. I do not like playing the sort them out. Make sure you got everything and sort the baggies. And yeah. I hate these baggies. And they're horrible. They're so 
if you've never gotten these before, and a lot of the double-sided adhesive companies use these, which I'm kind of surprised that, um, to me, this is the old way. Like, how am I supposed to read that? I think that's a one. Like, I'm literally going to have to go while this is out, after I get off, and go and I'll do inventory, and then I have to, I'm probably going to have to go and put a little sticker on it so I know what color all these are because if I don't get to this till later this year and I am struggling even more see like how can you read that come on like that is very hard so I will when I do an unboxing I will give an honest review and tell them listen first of all most of the diamond paint community does not like these these numbers rub off very easy your sizing is way off. So yeah, you do get an inventory sheet with a picture. Doesn't make up for these stupid baggies and, and not being the right size. So it's probably gonna be pixelated. So yeah, there's just browns and yellows. Nothing exciting for color really. I mean, you can look at them. That's eight three eight. I mean they look okay. I mean I've gotten some really nice drills. Um from Amazon ones, like the last one I did from Amazon was that um, three three seven one. I mean I don't see any junk, but sometimes it's hard to see it until you get them on a tray. But yeah, this is, I hate those bags. I really do. I honest to God, those are like my least favorite baggies. So let's see what they sent us for the kit. So this one's a little bit on the upgraded side. Still our pink wax, our pen, except it's a clear sparkly. And then we got two of the old style placers, a three and a, I don't know if that's a nine or a ten. And then a white boat. And these are 